if you want to gamble, the issue has nothing to do with the gambling aspect of this, okay? The issue has to do with the creative aspect of this. The idea of locking in results months ahead of time and not telling the talent until the very last second. That is the issue, okay? The issue is that you are going to end up with you know, building to a match where the finish is obvious. And then, well, you may do a different finish because, you know, it's obvious. Or, you know, for example, you want to build to a certain match. And I don't know if you know this or not, everybody, but in in virtually all cases, when you when you build to a match, the match is not just the end, but it's also the beginning. And so when you get to the end and you're starting a new beginning, you kind of need to know where the new beginning is going. And so you sort of need to know, like, who's winning to start this new beginning, who's going to be feud. I mean, there's so many ass. And this, the thing, too, is they're saying this is going to be for the high-profile matches, okay? The high-profile matches are the most important matches in terms of knowing where the story is going, knowing what the outcome is going to be, knowing where you're going from there. They're wanting to create a situation where the booking committee doesn't know, you know, the 40 writers. They, they don't know who's going to win. And so, you know, then, well, how can you plant any seeds for further past an event if you don't even know what's going to happen at an event? You ever listen to our prediction show? I mean, that's what we're talking about here. And then, you know, some other people were like, you know that there's been, you know, wrestling and historically there have been a lot of times where a finish has changed or, you know, they told someone the, the finish when they went. Yeah, I know that. There have been incidents where that has happened. But we're not talking about incidents where that happens. We're now talking about every single solitary big match. This, you know, they did another one a while ago, and I can't even remember what it was. It was some decision they made. Someone's going to remind me. But it was like, this is a decision made by people who are not the wrestlers, and they don't know anything about wrestling, and they think they know wrestling, but they don't. And literally, the wrestlers are going to suffer as a result of this because these people don't know what's going on. And this is an exact, I mean, this is, this is a perfect example of that. But anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm not bullish on this idea at all, nor do I think this idea is going to work, the idea of keeping all of this secret. Oh, you want to book Brock Lesnar for WrestleMania in three months, but you ain't going to tell him anything till the day of the show? Good luck with that one. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? Me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes, somebody needs to put that to music. Some '70s song for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.